don't know that they're always asking the wrong questions. I do think that it, it seems that sometimes um, they're not pursuing deeply enough into some of the questions they ask. And I think that maybe, you know, it's really important, I would think, that on a board, having um, a level of constructive tension would lead to maybe different questions or a more deep, deeper pursuit of some of the questions associated with environmental, social, and governance performance. Is it a matter of asking more questions or in a, in a different order? I think it's asking, uh, I think it's both actually. I think it's asking um, more questions that are very explicit to the business that, that sometimes could be um, in some way threatening to certain uh, constituents of the business. Again, I mentioned um, constructive tension, but there's always trade-offs. And so um, I think it's a, a matter of, of making sure the lines of inquiry are pursued in enough, in enough depth that you get to a place where you start thinking about accountability and you start thinking about execution. So maybe the boards can go um, a little, a little more deeply than they have in the past on how the mission of the company is being executed. Can you give an example of a company you have worked with? Um, you know, there's so, we cover a broad uh, spectrum, thousands of companies, and from my standpoint, those companies that are most um, proactively transparent in issues of, of material importance to investors are those that I think um, are performing optimally. And if companies would ask, uh, if the boards would ask different questions, what, will it, what could they gain from that? Again, I, I go back to the idea of gaining an insight into not just what the business lines are, but how the business lines are being managed. What are the incentive structures from the very top to the very bottom when it comes to executing the business? What are opportunities for, for risk? What are opportunities for growth? I think those can be pursued in a little more depth at, at the board level from what I can observe. Uh, talking about sustainability and um, a board, it's still not top of mind. I think maybe it's not top of mind, at least consciously. I actually think it is top of mind um, for many board members and many executives, but they might not define it. They might not know what to call it. So if a board member has huge integrity and thinks hard about, about governance and about, um, uh, about diversity, about shareholders, about the environment, they might actually just not know that that's sustainable. That's sustainability. Um, in terms of uh, creating um, a, a business case, really articulating a powerful business case associated with all the, the principles of, of sustainability, I think there probably is um, uh, work to be done on that front. How can we change it? Is it a matter of uh, having more data, uh, more research? Hmm. Um, honestly, I think to some extent it is, um, it is a better articulation of the business case. You know, a board member would have to be very knowledgeable about exactly how the business is operating to be able to identify opportunities. So maybe, um, maybe there's, there's too great a distance between board members, um, members of the executive committees of an organization, and then the executive committee down to the people that are running the business in the line. So maybe there's a disconnect somewhere along the way. So there's not enough clarity on the business case for sustainability. Because I think if you take each of the pieces in environmental, social, and governance, there's a business case to be made wherever you sit in the capital markets ecosystem. I don't think the business case has been articulated well. I'll use diversity as an example, if I may. You know, some would argue, and there's a good empirical research, for instance, done up by some professors at, uh, at Columbia University, empirical research that diverse groups make better decisions collectively. At the same time, and this study is controlling for everything, diverse groups optimize outcomes, decision-making. That same group might be perceived internally by themselves and externally as being less functional. That's not the reality. So there's a disconnect there. And then if you go further and say, okay, diversity is potentially a huge driver of creativity and innovation, entrepreneurship, and profits. Well, that business case has to be shown. It has to be proven, and there has to be case studies in success. And I do not think that those kind of arguments have been articulated on boards of directors within the boards as well as they ought to be.